Mama shook. 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 You get the idea of that. Hi here, Finn's here. I am back for another video and it's time for another one of my independent reviews giving my review of all 37 entries for this year's Eurovision Song Contest 2023 that will take place in Liverpool. And the next country I'm going to be talking about is Croatia. Yes, the country full of surprises. They're sending the group Let Free uh, with their song Mama Shook to Eurovision and it's so it's definitely a very out-of-the-box entry. A little bit zany, a little bit quirky in other places. You know, they're singing about war, but they're singing about the dictators about war and how bad it, the um, bad things about going to war, basically. And, you know, saying goodbye to their mamas, they're heading to war, and they're, you know, <laughs> they're sending a tractor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but no, it's it's a very out there entry for Croatia. At least last year, we said, you know, last year Croatia was playing it it's safe last year. Well, would you run away? I mean, would you run away from me? I mean, I mean, Croatia completely gone in the opposite direction of what they went through last year. I mean, you couldn't have too much two opposite entries, you know, from 2022 to 2023. Croatia. It's like Iceland from Ari Olsen in 2018 for Iceland, and then Hatari in 2019 for Iceland, like two completely different years. Um, so I respect Croatia taking a risk. Do I like the risk they're taking? And most importantly, do I like the song that much? No. Not really, no. For me, you know, I, I like all sorts of kinds of foods, you know. I like a good nice chocolate sundae, and I, a nice good pizza with pepperoni, sorry to all those beans out there. I love a good sweet and sour chicken meal. I like a good pot noodle at lunchtime. What else? Oh, I love a bit of calamari, you know, at work for starters. But if you mix them all together, it's a hot mess. It's too much. It's completely dreadful when you eat them at the same time. One ago. I mean, <laughs> and this is the, that's the example I give to this song. Mama Shook brings so many ideas, but there are too many ideas, and it's just on overload. It really is. It's like, whoa, it's like, oh, wow, it's just like, oh, it's just like, What's going on here? It's too much. It really is way too much for me. For, for both visually, <laughs> sound, musically, sexually. <laughs> Where did I get that quote from? Though, no. um, yeah, I just think it's too much. It's too much ingredients. You're trying to make a cake, but you're adding too much. It, it, too many eggs. Uh, too many cooks spoils the broth. Don't you know what I mean? Like, it, it's just so full on this entry. It's like, tractor, mama, you want to see the bananas? It's, it's all over the place. And that's, I think, my issue with the song. It's too over the place, you know. It's too many ingredients. It's it's too much. It's, it's just literally too much. And that's kind of problem I have with Croatia. It just feels like, I feel like, what am I concentrating on this? 
and sometimes I'm just like it, so it leaves me feeling a little bit uncomfortable in places just to what they're singing about the war especially it being so close to the war in Ukraine and this year we're supposed to be uniting united by music from uniting Ukraine by music uniting the world by music and I guess this is kind of a joke saying, you know, why are you going to a pointless war, you know, I, I mean, I get that, but, you know, it, it does hit from home, you know, <laughs> up here, you know, are you sure you should be really singing about that? I think it's close to some people's heart, I think, yeah, and I think that's why I get a bit uncomfortable when I see this entry and joking about war in this way. And also the costumes are quite questionable as well. I mean, them getting naked is one thing. And you know what, I'm not bashing them of their bodies or anything. You know, I, I respect older people getting naked in their lifetime. There's no embarrassment or shame and I'm not bashing anything, you know. I mean, I'm just thinking, is it appropriate for this performance and this song to get naked? And I bet you the EBU have been quite sweating. <laughs> Are they going to reveal too much at the semi-finals? I mean, I know a lot of Europe you fishing fans like a bit of nudity. I mean, everybody seems to like want to have a lap dance on Andrew from Cyprus, but not from any of the guys from Croatia. But um, <laughs> but no, it just feels make me feel uncomfortable in some places. It makes me feel a bit awkward, and I think compared to some of the other novelty joke happening trees, it just feels. Okay, when you compare it to Finland, Finland makes you have fun. Yes, it's a bit silly in places. Yes, it's it's not always serious, but it makes you want to have fun, and it's there's a dance. Serbia makes you want to have fun and dance. This makes you want to be awkward, like, well, I want to have a toilet break and vomit in the toilet, you know. It just makes you feel awkward. It's like, it's, it's too much, and... I'm just worried when we get to Liverpool on the Eurovision stage, I'm worried people are going to boo this entry. And I don't like people booing. I didn't like it when it happened to Russia that much. I remember the, the, the twins, the 17-year-old girls in 2014 getting booed every time they got 12 points. That was not on. And I'm worried if they qualify to the final, they're going to get booed. Is And I don't like to see that happening, per se. So, ultimately, I'm disappointed in Croatia, in a sense. Like, you had, like, loads of songs in Dora. How does this emerge as the winner in Dora? It's just like, how does this... There were so many entries. Surely, there must have been a better song than this to go to Eurovision for Croatia. Surely. I'm like... That being said, it is a catchy song, and they can redeem themselves, because it is a catchy hook. Mama yuna la lula, shuk. Mama yuna lula, shuk. You know, it does stick in your head, so people won't forget about this entry. But will they feel quite awkward to pick up the phone and vote? I don't know. So, prediction time. Croatia will perform in the first semi-final in lucky number seven in the running order. They'll perform after Ireland and just before Switzerland. It's interesting the producers have put Croatia and Switzerland next to each other, basically because they're both singing about war. Um, yeah, yeah, good one, producers. Um, so will Croatia make it to the finals this year? I mean, they haven't done since 2017. You know, look, for country perceptive, I want Croatia as a country to qualify, but I don't want the song to qualify, <laughs> if that makes sense. I, You see, in a televote only system, I think Croatia could qualify, but it's in a strong semi, so, and like, they've been given hype, but it's quite negative hype, if you know what I mean, so I just don't know. It depends of how it is executed, it depends how the vocals are. I think what could push it is they could get 12 points from Serbia and there ain't no juries in the semis. I do find it weird that the group's called Let Free and the producers didn't give them another free spot in the running order. 
it's just a side note on that, but um, qualification, it can go either anyway. And I'm, it's scary that it could knock out a really good song in semi-final one that I'm scared about and concerned. I mean, this will, if it get advances to the final, I don't think it'll do... It ain't lifting the trophy, let's keep it real. Like, we ain't going to Croatia next year. I think we all know that, because I don't think the juries will just completely drag it down in the final, and there's not that many ex Slavic countries anyway this year, so it won't be like Gunstrokes last year where it gets 12 points from a few ex Slavic countries, you know. I do. You say, I say that Serbia's going to give it 12. I wouldn't be surprised if Serbia passes on this, really. But, um... Oops. You know what I mean? Like... Yeah. A score out of 10. What am I going to give this? I'm giving this... A 3.5. And that is low. But I think it just musically, it's just so much. It, too many cooks spoils the buff. We've seen this... Year in, year out, where artists do throw too much at staging. We it happened to Renella last year with Albania. The year before, Leslie Roy Island. The year before that, Romania 2019. The year before that, Malta 2018. You know, and it all comes from Sergei Lazarev when he threw too much, but it worked because he had an amazing stage. He had an amazing moment in his song. Ever since then, every other country that wanted to create re-recreate that has come up with a thrown too much at the staging so yeah yeah but it's not my lowest score there is a country you wait there is a country that's going to be lower than Croatia it's not my complete last place on the leaderboard so watch there is a score lower than a 3.5 later on my independent reviews so yeah to summarize Croatia well they've taken a risk is it going to be a risk paid off? I don't know. It's in the stronger semi. I don't know. But what I will say as well, it's nice to see some older performers on the Eurovision stage. You know, they are the kind of the oldest group this year. So that's nice. That's nice. It's, you know, we've got, you know, Greece, you know, the youngest at 16. And now we've got people in their 60s, you know, represent Croatia. That's great. You know, I. that's wonderful, you know. Age is just a number, I guess, but I just wish they sent a better song, honestly. And, yeah, yeah. Oh, Croatia. Ah, oh, Mama Shuk. In any case, what do you think of the Croatian entry for this year's Eurovision Song Contest? Comment down below, in the comment section below. Are you driving that tractor? <laughs> Comment down below in the comment section below, like and subscribe this video, and I'll be back for more independent reviews about Eurovision 2023 on this channel very soon. Until then, goodbye people, goodbye. And mama uba no da shuk mama da 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 dun dun da da do 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 do